All right, we got to get Ian Halpern in. Yes. He's got a new book out called uh, Brangelina. Brangelina. We had a great time with him last time he was yep. in when he was promoting his Michael Jackson book. He was uh, he was a lunatic last time he was yes. in here. And he looks like a lunatic today. Hi, Ian. You're very flashy, Ian. Hello. Hello. Dude, where where does one too. buy a jacket like that, Ian? That's cool. That looks like polished uh, aircraft it aluminum. Like baby. <laughs> it does. You know, like yeah. propellers looks used like, to have that same pattern on them. It looks like that Michael them. Jackson book did uh, well for you. That's pretty good. You've yeah, uh, you've yeah. uh, upgraded your wardrobe Over there, my friend. Over one million copies sold. It's all because of this show. Really, I want oh, to Oh, well, we know that. No, yeah. really, I want to thank you guys from the bottom of my I love Michael Jackson. I love this guy, man. This Jimmy guy, Norton. No, really. <laughs> you like I, Jimmy I've been Norton? Everyone. I was telling I people know. in Norway, this is the only motherfucker I've met in radio who, whoa, I say, this guy knows his shit inside out. Like, and I love the fact yesterday about Ventura. If I was here with yeah. Ventura, Once you talk into I would have slammed Please. him right <laughs> over this table. I, I have shit yeah. on Jesse Ventura yeah? that would make your penises go through the ceiling. Really? Like, I'm not wow. kidding you, because I used to cover the wrestling scene. Yeah? And these guys used to have hoes waiting for them right outside the arena. And yeah. I don't care, governor or whatever he calls himself, but I got to take my hat off to this guy for body slamming Ventura yesterday oh, because thank you. really yes. that guy's gone in a way with being the biggest dope in America. Yeah, I don't and, remember him being such an ass during his governorship, though. I don't remember him being such a no. like. He didn't deliver speeches <laughs> and just start talking about uh, the towers or thermite paint, thermite paint, and stuff like that. He seemed to be a governor. He governed, <laughs> and, and, and and then, you know, he does these interviews now, and you're like, this guy's a lunatic. But i got to tell you something. Yes, sir. I, I was in Norway. I haven't been to my house since this show. Maybe two nights. I've been on the road. Look, I just put out another one. Uh, we, I, I, we I've been that. holed up in hotels, but I was in Norway, mm -hmm. and I was doing a signing, and, and some hot chick comes up to me and says, hey, I saw that YouTube video with Opie and Anthony. I said, that was good radio. Look, I said, those guys, man, they made the book. I mean that that, uh, that you're video. Saying, you're really gone saying all that today. No, really, really. I I thank you guys. All right. That's and I, I work hard on my shit. You know, people are attacking me and but hey, if they could do better than me, I'll bow down to them. And I'll tell you guys one thing. I I started working on this book before I started working on Jackson. I met Mr. Pitt on the red carpet at Ocean's Twelve. And if you could find one motherfucking error in this book, I will sleep naked in this studio for a month. Oh, we can't <laughs> wait. No, really. God, really. please that. find something I wrong. I hope it's something small, like he says Tuesday, but it was really a Wednesday. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's really for a month. <laughs> hey, but before we get into the Brangelina book, uh, let's go back to the Michael Jackson book. Because when you came in here, people were like, this guy's out of his fucking mind. But it turned out most of the stuff you said in the book... Look, I, I am a bit true. Of, look, I am a bit out of my mind for doing this shit because people want to kill me. People want, you know, I I need mm. bulletproof proof vests wherever. Well, I you're go. wearing one of them today. <laughs> this is, like, <laughs> no, this is a giant condom, just in case Angie comes <laughs> right. on to me. You know, you you know, I have some good stories about her, but really, all kidding aside, Jackson, I'm sad that the man's gone. <laughs> and uh, you know, people were telling me when I was working on the book and the film about him, I was the only journalist. Ch going around with this guy, they're saying you're nuts. Jackson's a has been. You'll sell two copies, and of course, after he dies, everyone comes out of the woodwork, produces books. Look, the fact of the matter is, I was the only guy following Jackson, and I miss Jackson. Jackson, I'll say, was the nicest celebrity I have ever met, and he was humble. He was genuine. He was respectful of others. And I miss him. And I think it's atrocious what went down. Yeah. And, uh, you know, now the Jacksons' brothers have this reality show coming out. Oh, no wow. kidding. You know, this is... Yeah, can you believe that? They weren't going to get a reality show unless no. their brother dropped dead. <laughs> they all That's suck at dick. You're topical, though. I'll say that, though. Yeah. Michael, we're after he died in this right now. Yeah. Did the Jackson family go after you? No, they know. You know, what's right. there to go after? Okay. I, I think they really, uh, some of the family members have told me they actually like the book because it vindicated Michael sure. of a lot of the and, allegations. And one, one more thing before we move on to the sure. new book. Sure. Uh, any updates on Michael Jackson that you're willing to tell us today? Um, well, I do say this. There haven't been any charges filed yet. But look at Anna Nicole Smith. It took a year and a half. And I admire the investigation LAPD is doing till now because they're not being presumptuous. Mm -hmm. And I think at the end of the day, you will see multiple people charged, just like in the Anna Nicole Smith case. And hopefully there's going to be justice because no matter what, Conrad Murray, 
he administered Diprovan in a residential setting, that's illegal right away. No matter what, he's got to be charged. And then there's a slew of other people who've got to face the music as well. Look, Jackson's irreplaceable. I, I'm really saddened by what's gone down. And uh, the fact that so many of these vultures, when I predicted six months to the day that he'd die, they should have taken me seriously, not book him 50 shows, and put him in a proper hospital, get him the right help. It was just the, you know, look, I'm not Nostradamus here, but two people in we Jackson's... Nostradamus, what happened? <laughs> <laughs> <Steve>. <laughs> but no, really, like, two people, they used me to get the story out, that things weren't kosher around Michael Jackson, and that... Uh, you know, people were trying to loot him out of his uh, estate and that he needed help. He shouldn't be launching a comeback. Instead, what do they do after my claims come out, make world headlines? They book him 50 shows. Yeah. And that was atrocious. Mm -hmm. If they would have listened to me, Jackson would be alive today. Whoa. That's absolutely. A statement. No, really. A absolutely. He would have got proper medical attention. You know, I spent a few weekends ago, the whole weekend with his cook. I used to date Jackson's cook. That's how uh, I God, got... I got God, you had to cook. <laughs> oh, yeah, she, she, she's hot, by the way. No, it, it, no it really. almost sounded like you dated Jackson. I mean, uh, he said Jackson's <laughs> cook. You know, ja cook. Jackson, he's not my type. Uh, but but his cook, she's hot, man. She's... Uh, you still dating her? Uh, no, we're we're very intimate friends. Cool. Ah. She's got hot boobs, though. I'll tell you that. No implants, nothing. Oh, nice. Uh, so how many uh, <laughs> how many how many pages do you have on Tiger Woods, you jackal? <laughs> you, you know what? I, no, seriously. <laughs> what do you got on Tiger I, I, I Woods? I got to tell you this. It's a good question. It, uh, that's it, a great question because we're uh, really good someone came to me two years ago. <laughs> See, I always I always have about four or five projects in development, and usually what's two, a project? Two like books, <laughs> movies. <laughs> hey, I'm Canadian. I would love you so much more if you didn't have that Canadian accent. <laughs> we remember that Canadian yeah. thing. So, uh, someone came to me two years ago with all this stuff on Woods, tapes, uh, testimony, and I said, look, I don't think it's going to go anywhere. Like, hey, I, you know, sometimes you miss the boat. I definitely miss the boat on Woods. And I won't touch it now because as we're being interviewed, there's probably 60 guys pumping right. out books about Tiger yeah. Woods. Look, the guy, man, uh, he's, he has a heart on uh, plain and simple. And, uh, he likes to chase a lot of pussy. He's in the strip clubs a lot. And, mm -hmm. uh, he, you know, he, he needs help. Like David Duchovny, he's got to check into that same clinic that Duchovny went to. He's a sex addict. What's wrong? Really? You know, uh, that, but let me ask you a question. That's what Ian Halpern's saying. No, really. When yeah, yeah, no, when, which is fine. I'm just saying. When, yeah. when Duchovny right. came out and admitted he's a sex addict, there was no backlash. We let no. him go. Well, Only Tiger married Woods, guys claim to be sex addicts, by the way. Uh, so if you're single, you're just a guy that fucks a lot and has a good time. When you get caught cheating, then you're a sex yeah. addict who needs help. I, and I'm That's... a guy who really does need major help. But I'm single, <laughs> so nobody cares. But, yeah, doesn't matter how many friends you take. You've performed in Montreal, right? I have, yeah. Okay, now... That's the capital of strip clubs. Have you been in the strip clubs? I have there? not. No, I, w I went into a booth, like a porn booth. But no, I've, I, I might have <laughs> went to so one strip club one strip time. Clubs, strip yeah. clubs strip for me. He laughs yeah, at strip yeah. clubs. Yeah, they're yeah. Almost, it's almost like playing Candyland. Like, <laughs> oh, they're, they're, they're a tease. They're a big tease. Yeah. So, did you have any prostitutes in Montreal? I've gotten a couple. Yeah, but it wasn't it wasn't any different for me than any other city. I think it's like thirty bucks for an hour and a half there. It's so ridiculously wow, cheap. cheap. It's yeah. uh, and they're hot. Is that Canadian or American? Yeah, Canadian. You know, back when the U.S. dollar, little, yeah. Back when there was a better. Now it's not as big, as good of a no, uh, no. exchange rate. But when there was a better exchange rate, it actually was a lot cheaper. You know, for like what uh, eight bucks? I bet you. Yeah, uh, it's ridiculously so, cheap. And were the chicks hot? Yeah, yeah, yeah absolutely. Yeah, well, that's it. Why don't we know anything about Tiger for the last two years? If I mean, if he's in all these strip clubs and and stuff, you would think some pictures would have. Yeah, it kept you know. Quiet. Came out or well, something. Well, Tiger likes to live a bit under the radar, and he's very guarded, secretive, and people were afraid to touch him, you know, because he's got a lot of lawyers on his side, and uh, but you know, a lot's come out. Look at the house this guy lived in. I mean, you'd think a guy who's a billionaire would live sequestered from the rest of the world. The guy's like living in a housing project almost. Uh, <laughs> no, really. Like, uh, if he would have lived. Nine one one call. Yes, exactly. No, the, the aerial shots. No, that's supposed to be a gated community. Yeah, but, but there's a lot of houses but, all around yeah, Tiger. Yeah, yeah. I mean, he's got a big, huge house, but then the next big, huge house is right there. A hundred percent. And if, if if he would have been... He's making a really good point. I was shocked by that. Like, yeah, if he, if he was living, you know, 
just the incognito and the big estate, this story would have never broken. Yeah. We, w we would have never heard about this. Mm -hmm. And how could you cheat on that chick, man? Well, that's you know, what everybody's saying. But you know something? Uh, pump a couple of kids out, blah, blah, blah. And like you said, he's got a heart on. He's going out there. There's, there's girls throwing themselves at him. He's just uh, a, a young guy out there having fun. Bill yep. Maher had the best quote. He goes, you show me the hottest woman in the world, and I'll show you one guy who's tired of fucking her. <laughs> <laughs> I think that was Bill Maher's quote, and I'm paraphrasing, but it was a brilliant Damn. quote and true. Jeez. It's like, no matter who she is, there's always one she's, guy who has her. Is like, she's uh, a fucking beauty, though, She's a pretty man. girl, but oh, she's a yeah. mother now. Still a beauty, though. Hard to uh, have them. you ever been to Sweden? Yeah. No. See, I was just there. I was on the, this show called Scavlin, and, you know, I refused to go on that show. I, 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 what's the show about? Help us out. It's the biggest show in Scandinavia. If you go on that show, you can't walk the streets. And I'll tell you, I, I, I called them two days before the show, and I said, look, I'm just jet-lagged out of my mind. I'm not coming. They said, we've never had one person cancel on the show. The guest the week before was Jay-Z. We're putting you on there. You're fucking out of your mind. So I said, okay, maybe I'll come. So I, I show up in Sweden. And the next day, literally, I cannot walk the streets. The whole country, chicks are throwing themselves at me. Now, the thing with Swedish chicks is this. I, I can't blame Woods for one thing. They're hot, but there's just more bark to the bite here. They're not kinky. They don't, you know, they, they're not experimental. I've, I've been with a couple of Swedish chicks over the years, and they're not really sexually progressive. They're just pretty faces who probably right. have never had to work to turn a guy on. That's right. Because yeah. of their beauty, so they, you know, they're probably A, B, C. But Kiss, that's, fuck, oh, done. Oh, well, then fuck them. But I that's, agree. That's, <laughs> that's a mistake a lot of women make. They, yep. don't, they, do, they don't do the kink thing. You've got to keep the kink going Absolutely. in a relationship. It's like Angie Jolie, she looks the crack. That's the key. Wow. Really? Oh, that's, that, that's what wow. keeps the guy. There. She you know that she that's like, she some of the revelations we're going to read about? <laughs> Jesus, yeah. That's what I want to hear, actually. Yes. Have you ever had your crack lick? <laughs> the question is, when haven't I? I love it. That's the key. That's the key. Yeah, you it know, really is. If you don't I, look wait, the, that, how do you find that one If out? you don't look the crack, the guys are always looking elsewhere because they're not completely satisfied. That's how, why she keeps Brad. How'd you find that out? Um, <laughs> I have good sources on both sides of the camp. And a lot of his friends are concerned. The key is, and you're much better looking than Brad Pitt today, by the way. Oh, thank you. hundred percent. I mean, Pitt should look at you. Seriously. You don't want to kiss no, me. No, 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 no. no. I, I've never Stay kissed a guy. I don't, ki I don't kiss guys. By the way, know? he found that out from Brad Pitt's dentist. <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh, wait a minute. He'd be licking oh, the crack. Oh, I meant Angelina. What happened? Oh, wow. oh, oh, Anthony, why? Wow. We were having I so much screwed fun. Up. It was a nice, funny line that I got backwards. <laughs> What's wrong with Brad Pitt these days? <laughs> look, look at Pitt oh, four man. years ago yeah. and look at Pitt today. Uh -huh. A picture's worth, in this case, a million words. The guy's completely worn out. He's ragged. Really? Like, he's got really? what? How many kids is he looking after? Yes, they have six. six. And, they, and but, now, uh, but they're looking after others, too. Well, now that, yeah, I mean, they're doing a lot for charity. I do respect them for that. They right. seem genuine about their charity work, but she's a loose cannon, man. And we're going to go all over this from incest to uh, her turbulent childhood. Look, Pitt's a good guy. I actually think he's a talented actor. You know, all these Hollywood actors, what, I, I never watch these films. I, I prefer European films where you see real hardcore acting. But these guys, they're blown up to be stars. Pitt's actually worked hard. He goes to acting class regularly, doesn't have a big ego. He's well-liked, but she... He was great in Fight Club. So. Oh, oh, yeah, man. Uh, and, a uh, lot of his movies I don't like, but Fight Club, he was amazing. amazing. You don't like Steven Seagal? Seagal, man. <laughs> look, Seagal was doing a lot of movies. I was doing some undercover work in Bulgaria a few years ago. He was the big talk there. I mean, yeah. that's where his career's gone. Yeah. Is. Exactly. Yeah. Why would Poor Brad Pastor. Pitt, a guy that could get any woman... Right? Because we were just talking about the Tiger Woods thing. Why would he settle uh, for Angelina if she's a lunatic? Man, it's it's all in the bedroom. You know, Jolie, she is, uh, she's like the Cirque du Soleil in the bedroom. <laughs> she, no, really. She's hot, man. I fucking love she, it. She, no, seriously. She, this woman. She'll do anything. From the get-go. First off, they do Mr. and Mrs. Smith. Mm -hmm. Jen Aniston actually meets Jolie a a short time before the filming starts, and she says to Jolie, I hope you have a great time filming this movie with my husband. Let me tell you, they had a good time. Did he bang her on the set? Oh, he banged her, man. I, I didn't, <laughs> in the trailer, on the set, you know, I'm probably on the on the dolly. Uh, like, look. All right, hold on. Let me slow you down again. So uh, what was the problem with Jennifer Aniston and Brad Pitt? Well, and the women out there yeah. are like, oh, that's the couple right there. I'm Team Jen. 
the thing is with Aniston. Did her pussy smell? No. Aniston no. uh, will be you know, claiming that you, for you, years. Let me, this guy knows everything. Do you know who Aniston's godfather is? Uh, I don't know. Come on. I didn't, David Schwimmer? See, I'm promoting <laughs> this guy. Not, oh, I, I promote this guy now all over the world. They said I've never met a guy who knows every fact on everything. I it, honestly do not know. I didn't Aniston. know. That, did okay, she let me give you a clue. She's Greek. Oh, her godmother. Her godfather. Oh, Onassis. Oh, God, oh she's re is, is it is it Aristotle Onassis or uh... Telly Savalas? Wow. Savalas. Oh, what the fuck? What happened yeah. to DNA? I would guess Stavros yeah. first. <laughs> wow. Stavros. That's the guy. That's, that's some fucked up DNA right there. Well, that's the godfather, right? Oh, oh yeah. godfather. Wow. Yeah. Not godfather. Okay. Well, her father godfather. was in the Wait, what soap can... opera was he in? Uh, uh, Days of Our Lives. Yeah, he had the weird mustache. Yeah. Yeah, I think the father was in on Days of Our Lives. That's right. Yeah. The Jen Aniston's father was so an actor. So what's wrong with Jennifer Aniston? She's a cool chick, man. A got, boring in bed. Yeah, she. You know, she. Does, again, if you don't lick the crack, the guy's always going to look elsewhere. It's the bottom line. Wow. All your listeners, anyone who's married right now, the women listening to this show, I'm telling you, go to bed tonight and no matter what, close your eyes, but lick that crack. You know how your, they were your guy won't look elsewhere. How? Her dentist. <laughs> what did her dentist say? That her breath stinks. It's a little too oh. late now. Right? A little, a little late that would have been the line of the century too. And, a you, and, and, and what you a said was late. the polar opposite of what you should have said. Of course, the wrong it was. person. I understand. It was unsalvageable. I suck. It was a great joke. See, I think, I think Ventura was so upset yesterday because he didn't get his crack look the night before. That's, yeah. you know, it had to be. No, really. Aniston's cool. She was a victim here. Jolie, man, she's not evil. She's actually done a lot to change her life. But she's manipulative. And when she hooked up with Pitt, she roped him in. Pitt went, I, I think he went on Oprah and told the world, I never had sexual relations until my divorce came through. That's the biggest load of hogwash. I interviewed over 60 people Language. on the set of Mr. and Mrs. Smith. And they all said from the get-go it was fireworks and electricity between the two. And they said it was genuine, genuine love from the beginning. But Jolie has a history mm. of what magicians call, she's a master of this, misdirection. Every time their, her image is tarnished, she's able to spin it around and come out smelling like roses. For instance, America's housewives, they labeled her a complete homewrecker after she snatched Pitt from Aniston. What did she do? And this is all in the book. She turns around and starts leaking stories to the media, her and her publicist, Gary Kaczynski, that Aniston never wanted to have kids with Pitt, and that's why Pitt left Aniston. Right. Furthest thing from the truth. Furthest yeah, thing. Really. Aniston had a couple of miscarriages, I said, Oops. I say in the book, and she built a nursery because after Friends ended, she wanted to have at least two kids with Brad. She was madly in love, and you got to take your hat off to Jen because she never came out and said negative things about either of the couple. She handled it in a classy manner. She did a lot of yoga. She had a spiritual guru. And look. And she got to handle the fucking John Mayer dick. Yeah, and man. you know Mayer's got to be packing. <laughs> yeah, what, what's with Mayer, dude? Uh, uh, banging uh, everybody. Yeah. Is he banging Bangs them all? But I think he's banging men too. Don't you think so? Like I, I, I don't. I never got a gay vibe from him, to be honest with you. But if, if he was, and he would, you know, do a little something for me financially, I'm not saying I wouldn't take a little on the back. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just throwing it out there, John. <laughs> <laughs> but so, is she like? Here's the thing: with the, they're an interesting couple in the sense that, like, you know, John Voight's her father, which kind of makes me. Oh, uh, well, I want to get into the father thing. Yeah, she you ever, said incest. Yeah, well. Remember that Oscar kiss with uh, James oh, her brother. Oh, yeah, yeah, sure. yeah. That was creepy for everybody. It was very creepy. Yeah. It was open mouth. Now, this wasn't an isolated incident. She also did this uh, at the Golden Globes, and she did it at several parties. Now, one thing that's taboo in Hollywood is incest. She thought it would be cool. She'd be starting yeah, a new yeah. trend, and this would be, you know, this would propel her even bigger, you know, to bigger superstardom. Furthest thing from the truth. Hollywood moguls. There's two things they frown upon. If A-listers are, are gay or incest. Incest is the worst. They threatened to blacklist Jolie. They phoned her uh, managers and said, listen, she'll never work again. This is the lowest of low people. Just can't accept this in America. So what does Jolie do? She's brilliant. i got to say this. She never poses again in public with James Haven. All of a sudden, you see this. You see this douche come on, Billy Bob Thornton. She professes her love to him, says they're having a great sex life. They're wearing each other's blood vials around their necks. This was all a sham. 
Oh, this was really? to misdirect the media's attention. Mm. And as soon as everyone forgot about James Haven, she dumped Billy Bob so, like a hot potato and set her sights on three other guys, including Pitt, and all of them were married. Billy Bob, by the way, was engaged to Laura Dern at that time. Right. She only goes after men who are attached. You think it's part of the challenge when you're that hot and you can have any guy you want? So, like, sometimes people like a challenge. like a lot Absolutely. Of Absolutely, I, I man. I like the way she licked my crack. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. That feels good sometime. <laughs> there you go. So, uh, right, wow, that's fucking... Uh, that's not, not a very flattering life for you're, her. You're, you're no. talking about a woman. I say this in the book. She once hired a hitman to kill herself. Now that is uh, pretty outlandish. How how did you get that info? And and uh, what were the, what are some of the details? I got that from Jolie herself. She told that to several of her close friends who I had access to. See, I went undercover a lot in this book. That's what I specialize in. How the in. hell do you go undercover? Yeah. What the uh, fuck? <laughs> you, see, you tone it down <laughs> a little bit. Yeah, I, I, yeah. I tone it down. And, no, uh, really, I get a complete makeover. I was but, first, first off, I checked myself into the same mental institution she was in. Uh, it's Did you really do that? No, really. Oh, really. that's fucking fantastic. You know, Jeez, I said like I was great. Fun. I said I was suicidal. I said I might come, you know, I felt like killing people. And uh, right, I got checked in. You have to know the key words to get checked in. It's not easy. She was in that clinic, and I met people who treated her and remember her and w underwent that whole experience. It was wild. And then I went undercover as a paparazzo in France. Now, this was, this was I think, my... Most opportune time. This was in 2008 when she was giving birth to the, the twins. And when everyone at the Chateau Miraval, all the media were there, as soon as she treks to Nice to give birth, they all run to Nice. I'm not going to compete with that, man. I stay behind. I knew this would be the only time the staff would possibly go out and party. They, they had a lot of downtime now. I befriended that whole staff and got the whole inside story. Ah, so you go uh, and get the, uh, you know, they're all after them. You hang back with the crowd and get a little inf inside info. Absolutely. I was the only guy who stayed behind. From the wow. people who have access to them, which is the yeah. staff. It's amazing. Mm -hmm. They talk but, to you not knowing that you're a journalist. And it's like, how do you prove, like if they say, I never said that to them, that's not true. How do you, now how do you prove, like, that? yes, it is. You see this thing? There's these HD cameras now. Ah, see, okay. See, I'm giving up my whole secrets. Smart. So I'm like on a cell phone. But here I am, I'm filming all you guys. So oh. I always do that. Because I love when people come out and deny my shit and take me to task. And then I start releasing all the videos and make them look foolish. And Smart. Go off. You know, that's why I've lasted hey, so long in this business. Let's go back to the hitman wow. thing, though. Yeah. Don't you think Angelina did that just to get her, you know, pump up her publicity? No. because She this, really wanted a hitman to kill her. Yes. She said she had nothing left off for the world. Also, she tried suicide a few times. She, she's Wait, was it the fake suicide, though? We talk about this on our show a lot, the fake fucking razor blade suicide. Well, no, one time, seriously, one time she cut herself so deeply with knives. She has a big knife collection, Angelina Jolie, and Ooh. she was rushed to hospital, and they, they thought she, she wouldn't that pull was it, through. Huh? Okay. She, but one thing, Angie is so resilient. When this union is over... And it's going to be over, you think? A hundred percent. I predicted Jackson six months. Unfortunately, I was right because I love the guy. In this case, I'm telling you, 12 to 18 months from now, this couple is toast. There is too much in-house fighting. They actually don't like each other so much anymore. And really? they're not... It. Pitt is worn out. His friends want... You know, his friends I spoke to want him to run for his life today. He seems like he cleans up well for movies, but then when you see him uh, in pictures that the paparazzi uh, get, he's very disheveled, very yeah, grubby that's right. That's uh, right. stuff. But, you know, for movies, he seems to clean up. Yeah, well, that's the time he's away from Angie, so he's able yeah. to get his act together. That's the only time when she lets him out him, of his sight. When you see him all disheveled, like holding uh, kids that look like, uh, you know, collect them all from around the globe, uh, it just looks a little like, like, wow, is he pussy whipped? Is, is that it, what it was? Just completely pussy yeah, whipped? Yeah, because it doesn't seem like he really was all, him, all right in as far as all the kids Benetton go. Benetton. You're right. You're, you're 100% right. Let me, let so, me expand on that. Yeah. I predict after they split, there's only going to be room in Hollywood for one of them. Both of them won't, they're not going to stay at the superstar level. And I think, based on the research I've done, 
And based on her history, she's so resilient, Angie. No matter what comes her way, I think it's going to be Angie Jolie staying on top. Uh, there's a family picture. It looks like they stole the uh, characters from It's a Small World. <laughs> it's like they just one picked, of, they picked a few one of as each. the boat was going around mm, and just threw them all in. Now, look at that photo. This is what I mentioned in the book. Every time they do this, it's a photo op. Yes. And in the background, there's nannies ducking. They want to make it look as if they're hands-on parents. The nannies, they're either ducking in the car or ducking in the photo. When you have nannies calling, uh, the kids calling nannies mommy. Oh, really? Oh, that's not a good sign. I mean, do you guys have kids? No. no. Nobody has kids here? Nope. Nope. Not Man, I'm all. the only guy with a kid. Uh, oh, you got one? Dude, that's, Sorry. you know. Uh, you have a kid? I'm sure you're happy with it, yeah, but the, you know. The kid is my life, you know. The, there's nothing better that's than That's why parenting. I didn't have one, because it, ch it supposedly changes you. It does. And I'm not willing to be changed. I no, like my selfish, filthy lifestyle, and I, I know it will change that. I've said it a thousand times. It's like when people fall asleep next to that bean pod in Invasion of the Body Snatchers. Everyone resists it and goes, oh, my God, I don't want a kid. I don't want a kid. And then they have one. It's like, oh, you'd love it. It's, it's a wonderful thing. My brother did the same goddamn thing. He's like, man, fuck kid, I'm gonna have a fucking kid. And then he has a daughter. It's like, it's just, it's fantastic. It's great. Like, what happened? It's, it's, it's called love. Fuck love. I'm looking, I'm looking forward to have, get having a couple here. kids. Can I, by the way, can I get on to something very important? I sure. always yes, suspected this. Yes. I knew it. Ooh. He uh, claims that Billy Bob Thornton has a huge dick. God, oh, let's oh, talk about his huge it. dick. He knew looks it. like he would. He has to. When you yeah. see him, and again, he's... as Carl in Sling Blade, when his pants are pulled way up, uh, you see a pretty big mule Oh, I never there. noticed. I just thought he was oh, a bit yeah. skinny, kind of hick-looking guy. After he kept his dead little brother, poor little fella, <laughs> he pets him. <laughs> Apparently, he's even more well-hung than Errol Flynn. Wow. wow. Now, uh, How big would you say there, Ian? Fourteen. Uh, Whoa! <laughs> the That's a fucking no, no, really. When Billy Bob, you know, when Billy Bob's going like this to his leg, it, it's you know, it's. I reckon uh, he's from Arkansas. Now I got, I got to get in a plug here because my good buddy Ron Decklebaum in Montreal, yeah, he has listened to you guys from the beginning. Oh. And when and this okay. guy cannot believe I'm even in the face of you guys. You guys are his hero. He promotes you all over wow. Canada. And I just got to give a shout out to him because he told me when I come back on this show that to say a big hello to you guys. And you guys are his heroes. Thank well, you, Ron. Thank you, sir. And uh. Um, they, they, we just saw the thing they had, uh, you have a phone or something, or there's something that you had You to have more phone. promoting to do, yeah, sir. What the fuck, dude? You're <laughs> a, give us a, a lot more time it's, than this. Does Brad Pitt want these kids? It always struck me as like a guy, like you were a good looking no, guy. We talked about that. He's, but, he, but he wasn't all in on this whole thing. He wants no part of these kids? Was he sick of them? Uh, or? Pitt didn't know what he was really getting into. Yeah. At the beginning, he thought, you know, this was romantic vision. Sometimes they were spending 18 to 20 hours a day in the sack. He never had this before. The kids, Look, his heart's in the right place. Uh, either of them, they're not bad parents. The thing here is, they're just way over their head. Jolie recently filed an adoption request for a seventh child. And this is part of the proof why I think they're going to split. Pitt's name is not on those papers. It's oh. just Jolie. Ooh. And by all yeah. accounts, people in the house, I'm the only guy. I know I know Jolie right now better than Pitt does. I hope he was the first guy in line at the bookstore Should to buy this. Now, she hasn't licked the crack yet. No, right. but, <laughs> but man, I have story after story about her that, and you know, I tried to make this a very balanced, fair account. So a lot of the stuff, unless there was extreme cooperation, I couldn't put in the book because I don't want it to be some hatchet job on her because she has tried to turn herself around. The stuff she said about John Voigt, it's ridiculous. What did she say about it? Because I didn't hear. She said he's, uh, wasn't there, wasn't a good father. However, I did my research at the Oscar speech, Golden Globe acceptance. She thanked John Voight, said he was an incredible father, and he was always there. She fell out with him after mm. because he said publicly, look, I think she's going back to her old ways and is going to end up in a psychiatric institution again. I interviewed so many people who grew up with this family, and painstakingly, I tried to discredit Voight. I, I was not able to. Everyone around that family said Voight put the kids before his career every and each moment. And I think John Voight, I hope he's listening to this today, 
I have to defend oh, the guy Voigt. because that would be nice to know he's listening. Yeah, John Voigt. Jeez, wow. Uh, have, you, have you ever had Voigt on the show? I'd love no. to have him on. You, you got to get him here. We'd you got to get him here to talk. Yeah. He'll do it. Somebody's got to follow really. request to have John on this show, and he will talk about it. This guy was the greatest father you could imagine, and Angie Jolie. This stems from her her days at Beverly Hills High School. Everyone I interviewed who went to school with her said, "Look, this chick. She could be your best friend one day." The next day, if she doesn't like you, you're toast. She'll badmouth you. She'll have you, you know, just persona non grata in the whole school. Mm. And she could flip on you like a diamond. And that's pretty atrocious. So is it, so is it like uh, her character in Girl Interrupted? Well, you know what? <laughs> is that an accurate depiction? Yeah, it's sort of like that, actually. It's not yeah. a bad analogy. She oh, is no, a what loose What was the other cannon. movie? Uh, Geely or? Uh... Gia Karangi. Oh, my God. Yeah. That, that was a one? cool one. Yeah. 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 That was a You would like that one, and, and, and let me tell you something. She's had so many flops. If you check out her filmography, she has had one flop after the other, and I got <laughs> I got to admire her. I, I respect anyone in media or art who's been in this 10 years plus, and no matter what comes their way, they just keep going. You know, we all fall off the bike, but if you get back on and ride, hey. That's the key. It is amazing when you think about her. Like I can't think of uh, she. She played Daniel Pearl's wife, and I thought she did a, a good job as Daniel Pearl's wife. But you you can't think of a lot of movies you, that she did. Yes. Like Meryl Streep, you could fire off fucking Deer Hunter, <laughs> Kramer vs. Kramer. It just but like, with her, it's like what did she do that you really loved? Uh, she fucked a couple of people that. Uh, it's really hard to picture. Won awards and, and to, you know. I associate her with famous men. That's is, how I is, think is, of her. Uh, is Brad Pitt now? I, I, there's always been this. A talk that he's a really kind of a country bumpkin and and not I don't want to say not smart or anything, but not the brightest guy. That would be not kind smart of a thing. Yeah, yeah the, well, this is not the sharpest other type the of smarts. You know what I mean? <laughs> not look, the sharpest knife in the drawer. No, definitely. He, look, <laughs> the kid is no, no really, really. Yeah. He, he is a good kid. Uh -huh. Everyone. The reason why Brad it's succeeded. Than you. Yeah, look, look, look. There's <laughs> you no. Him there, a kid? Okay. There's no shortage. <laughs> you're right there. There's no shortage <laughs> of good-looking people who show up in Hollywood off a Greyhound bus like Brad Pitt, and you could just yank them and try to make them a superstar. Mm -hmm. Brad actually, to his credit, he takes his craft seriously. He has. Uh, uh, that's a, the difference. It's the difference. It what puts him over the top. He studies film religiously, he pays tribute to all his predecessors, and he goes to acting class, and he, he hasn't burned bridges. He's I a liked like him that. in uh, uh, California with Duchovny. I thought he was really good in that. As and and George Clooney loves the guy. So yeah, yeah. Apparently. Yeah, what's with that? What's up with Clooney? Yeah, yeah what's up with Clooney? Clooney licks what's his up crap. with Clooney? Clooney yeah. licks what's his up crack? with George there, Ian? Yeah, I don't know about Clooney, man. I, look, I've met Clooney a few times. Uh, one time, the first time I met him was in front of... Uh, seems like he gets a lot of broads, huh? Hey, it seems... <laughs> the first time I saw him, I saw him with a chick around each arm. I'm not in front of the Formosa Cafe in, in yeah. L.A. Oh. He was... A chick around each arm, and it seemed, and they were jamming. It's because he's George Clooney. He's George Clooney. For fuck's sake! But what's up with George, right, Ian? Yeah, that's it. I don't know I'm about reading George. your eyes. Yeah, you, I don't, I, you, you, got you got it. You got it, man. Are but you, think, I, I you got it, man. Shit, and Ian ain't saying shit. Wow. But, but I'm saying, what's up with George, right, Ian? All right. I know, man. You, so you're good. He's looking down you, now. You got right. it. You got it. <laughs> Hope he's going to be twittering a blind yeah. item later. <laughs> yeah, that's it. Hey, out of everything you said today, the one thing is making people really pissed off they're saying bullshit jennifer uh brad pitt uh left jennifer aniston uh, wait 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 because she didn't want to have kids is somebody saying that yeah they're I, pissed off that you're saying well, what's, the the name of, what's the name of that person who's saying uh, uh -oh. bullshit dudes pitt left aniston because she didn't want kids that's Man. uh canine craig and all right canine, canine let me tell you something right now others. right now canine open your eyes you know smell the coffee here because the fact of the matter is you are just being brainwashed by Angelina's uh, propaganda. It's Angelina who put this out. There's Jill Nicolini. You know that chick? I I, I know her. I met her on the. I was oh, on the. Did? I was on the Sally wait, wait. Je Jesse Raphael show. Really? Yeah. yeah. What, hold what on. Happened? happened? Years yeah. ago with Nicolini. What man. you got on Jill? And what happened? Oh man, I have a lot of stuff on Jill, no, but I, I won't way. say. That. You know, Jill's a, a smart woman. She has wait, like a. Really? Oh yeah, she well, has like a four point oh GPO. Really? Tell we've, us one thing about Jill. We don't know much. We've about talked to her a couple of times. Oh yeah. But but always thought she was pretty hot. She used to date Garth Snow. She came up. Montreal to visit Garth me. Snow? Yeah, yeah, he's the GM the of the Islanders. Islanders. Oh, right, right. He was okay. a goalie for the Islanders, yeah. too. Really? How long did they go out? Uh, I think a couple of years or something. Really? She used to be the Islanders' girl.
Was she? Oh, yeah. right, right. The ice girl. She, she was yeah, the ice see, she's girl. on the weather right now. We have all these. Traffic. Um, oh, traffic. Yeah, yeah. she's doing yeah. traffic, wow. and uh, she's shit. hot. She still has her look, you know? Yeah, yeah. Uh, there she is. What, um... Wow, what... A, she what came up... Well, I'll tell you Give, give one, us a good tidbit about her, because we've been fans for years. Well, okay, I gotta tell you this. I hope she. I hope she's not listening. But probably uh, not. She's nah, on she the air. Doesn't know much. Let about her rip. Show. But you know, one night I did end up in bed with her with my ex. Uh, we had a little. But I, I didn't have sex with her. I didn't have sex with her. But her and my her and my ex were just going at it really? all night. Oh, she loves women, man. She, wow. She's a great woman, though. <laughs> Excellent. You can't just yeah. say that, Ian. Are you? No, well, you asked me. It's uh, Jill won't deny it. I hope I hope she's wow. not listening to this, but I love Jill. Pop Jill's a one couple of, the... of pictures up, Danny, because uh, uh, put in like Jill Nicolini and see if we could get a couple of pictures of her up there. Uh, <laughs> I'm so happy because uh, maybe pop that one up. That's a good picture right there. <laughs> oh, holy smokes! Wow, yes. look at that. Are you serious? <laughs> wow, man, you're a lucky guy. <laughs> yes, let's. Well, he let's, was. Well, he was. <laughs> The, 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 the she it like everything else in his life. Okay. Bringing another woman into the relationship <laughs> yeah. thing it didn't work does, for me. Does she like the crack? Uh, well, yeah, yeah. Everybody, there you, you know, see, there but, you go. You know, tit, tit for tat with the crack. That's you know. great. She's I'd a good woman. Go. She, I met her. <laughs> no, really, I met her. I was a guest on Sally <laughs> Jesse oh, Raphael. Look at that. Oh, oh holy! Whoa! <laughs> and you'll notice in every photo that she's happy with him. She's holding alcohol. <laughs> Man! <laughs> <laughs> holy! I, I have no idea. Yeah. Yeah, that ended when um, she came into uh, my bedroom uh, one morning. Uh, after leaving the night before, and I apparently had a, um, wow. I apparently had a girl in my closet, uh, another girl from uh, Canada, by the way. Oh, uh, there uh, aren't Canadian they? Are girl. Canadian girls hot? Uh, yeah, I like Canadian girls. And um, uh, yeah, she was in the closet, and uh, uh, Jill opened said closet, and uh, and it uh, turned into a big clothes burning uh, ceremony that uh, Jill did. She took the the girl's clothes. She she left in my vehicle. Oh my god! Came back. Uh, and then when I wasn't there and took this other girl's clothes and put them in my fire pit in my backyard, lit them on fire. And all that was left were zippers and underwires. Well, thank God uh, there was no one there to stop her. Oh, Keith, yeah, <laughs> Keith, uh, the cop, uh, taped the whole thing, apparently. Yeah. My, my personal I, security guy. Thank you very much. You know who I like? Wow, this is crazy, man. Jill's mom is one of the nicest people I've ever met. Oh, yeah, she's a very, very nice family. I yeah, mean, very yeah, nice yeah, family. Yeah, very, very nice family. I remember, I met Jill on Sally Jesse Raphael, who I love. I miss Sally Jesse. I miss all these people, man. You know, not, there were so many... The air, right? She's not dead, she's just off the air, right? Uh, well, she's been off the air a long time. For a, for a very long time. I, I, I think she has a toy boy in France or something. Right. I'm not sure about it. Yeah. But, uh, <laughs> no, she's a, I love Sally. And we met, and we became good friends, and she came up to Canada. I'll tell you, I wish I could have videoed her jamming with my ex. That was one wow. of the hottest moments I've ever seen. I just stood back and watched. You know, and said, "Whoa, this Jeez. is so hot." Damn, man. See, maybe if I would have yeah, worked it out uh, a little better go. than that, but you would have a nice little. You know, thing Jill there. doesn't do it for me All because right. of the implants. Yeah. That's the, I, I, I hate chicks with implants. I'm not, I'm not into implants. Unless they put it under the muscle. Me too. Put it under the muscle. Put it under the muscle. Under muscle is not as bad. Hey, I hear you. You gotta go. So yeah, they're kicking you right out of here. Well, I love you guys, man. And this is the you know this is the greatest show, and I want all Canadians to support these guys. And yes, and really, thank you so much. We got a nice. Congratulations on your no, pro hey, jets I, and your amateur jets and whatever other <laughs> jets you uh, hold. <laughs> Ian, this John Travolta? Well, uh, man, look, I'm not going to diss uh, him because he lost his kid. And no, anyone, I'm not talking about the kid thing. Yeah, but it's sad. Look, what about, Travolta, that, what about that kiss on the plane uh, steps? Come on. You, that, okay. <laughs> that's that's a good that question. Yes. I, did, I did the book on Scientology. That's why I, I wear this bulletproof stuff. They want to kill me, man. Yeah, I did not. a film on Scientology. I posed as a gay actor. They tried to deprogram me. It's all because of John. Look. Travolta, that kiss was certainly, he was jamming. That was with the male nanny. That's the same nanny who looked after Jet Travolta. Oh, so that guy yeah. travels with them. Yes. Okay. And, and, and that was in, that was shot in Canada. When he was filming Hairspray, that was on the steps of John's private jet. Look, I yeah. love John Travolta. It's unfortunate that Hollywood's homophobia doesn't let guys like Travolta be themselves. Travolta, <laughs> no, really, 
Really? Well, do like, you know that I dated Travolta for three months? <laughs> uh, I, 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 think, yes. I think you and Travolta would make a better couple <laughs> yeah. than you and Jill. Yeah, well, Anthony apparently. inspired staying alive. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's a hell of a statement, though. No, really. <laughs> Let Travolta, Travolta be himself there, right? Well, it's not me saying it. It's other people saying it. Look, mm -hmm. I, I, I like the guy. He's one of the nicest guys you could meet. But there's no doubt about it. This is according to Time magazine, not according to me. Yes. There was a Time magazine cover story back in 1991 saying Travolta's gay. Yeah. It's not me saying it. You yeah. know, my opinion doesn't matter here. I'm just a nobody from Canada. But I go what the experts say, and people were quoted in a Time magazine cover people story. People are getting up and leaving. Oh, man, I don't want to <laughs> leave this show. <laughs> yeah, I, 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 has another, you, hold you, on, you, let's, you, let's give you, a big plug. Go. Go. Photo here? Yes. Yes. I want to bring this guy to Canada and just make him a bomb there, like a rock star. Ian, uh, Ian Hopper, it's called Brangelina. I'll say this about Ian, man. You were, you were on time with Michael Jackson's book. You have a, a ballsy dude. He says, uh, you hear celebrity books are usually very soft. He comes right out and goes, no, no, she tried to have herself fucking killed. Yeah. It's like, I, I'll say that. <laughs> exactly. If you want to read stuff that is explosive, uh, I admire you for that, Look, man. You're when, a ballsy when my dude. body's found in the Hudson, I've willed it all to this show. Oh, nice. Just to no, let no, you know. no, no, no. The first time right, Ian was on, we that. had an argument, and then he was willing to come back two oh. days later. No, I love uh, a guy like that. See, like Ventura is a wimp because this guy knows his shit, man. Yeah, like I, I've been educated. telling everybody around the world, they've seen this video on YouTube. I said, look, this guy knew his shit, and I'm not going to argue with him. He took me on, and that's cool. We shook hands after. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know, that's good radio. We but, actually love you now, but, Ian. No, we didn't like you at first. No, look, but Ventura, <laughs> you can come back anytime. I hope Ventura is listening to this today because I would like... Me and Jim, I'm challenging Ventura. I will rent out Madison Square Garden myself, and the two of us going against Ventura. Oh, that's tag great. team. I'm willing to do it. Two corpses. You, you'll find you'll find two bloody raped men and Jesse <laughs> babbling into the microphone. Yeah. <laughs> a conspiracy. Yeah. And let me tell you, Ventura will be back on this show when his book comes out in April. Uh, I've no I, doubt I, I about have, it. He already said got, he already said no, but he said I guarantee. No, but uh, he'll be back guaranteed here in a heart, in a heartbeat. He's got to sell books. This is the place to be, right, Ian? It is the place to be. Opie and Anthony, and thank you for having. Thanks, man. Right, and uh, thank you, it's called You're Brangelina. Yeah. yeah I love the guy. Radio. All right. Oh, he's thank still you. here. He could hear us talking about <laughs> thank uh, you, Ian Halpern. Yeah, the book's Brangelina. Uh, uh, way, you this is Suzanne Callahan from the New York yes. Post, who's one of the, the most up-and-coming greatest writers you'll see. Like, you know, I'm telling you, writers like this, I take my hat off to them. They're the next generation, and she'll be on this show with her books. She's amazing. Did you have her in Canada? Uh, no, no, we're, we're good friends. I'm just a fan of hers. Oh, okay. And I All right. to come along today. And, uh, Can you have your publisher send us, like, maybe one or two? They sent one book for the whole radio yeah, it's show. A, it's a recession. All right. Well, yeah. <laughs> no, seriously. Find the goddamn book. You know, you're lucky you even got this. They wanted it's a recession. To, you know what? They wanted to send it in a word funnel to you guys. <laughs> word. Fair enough. Well, Cut it up and section it off. Pass it around. Oh, I think we're going to be good friends with Ian Halpern over See the years. You, that fucking guy does great radio. I, and I tell you one thing, man. He says that it's a, it's refreshing to interview somebody. He never somebody gets sued because he knows he he backs up his shit. Who yeah. isn't afraid of, of at least fucking uh, sit back in what he said in the book? And yeah. Look, I tape people saying sure. this, so yeah. go ahead, come after me. All right, we're going to take a quick break. When we get back, we got the audio that led up to Jesse Ventura uh, leaving the show because yes. it's not represented properly on the video. That's pretty much everywhere because today. there's 20 minutes missing, which was just the way yeah, it was well, filmed. We didn't. No, at right, the time, right, right. I, we try to film when we can. We filmed a little it's Ian a Halpern thing, conspiracy. But we weren't able to keep the cameras rolling the whole time because this <sighs> this company doesn't understand that this show really needs a visual element. We had a nice visual element that they took away from us. There's a lot this company doesn't. Understand. They don't understand half the shit. Uh, they weren't working that fucking video yesterday whatsoever. No. And now it's all over the Didn't goddamn they, world. Someone told me I'm on, I'm on a serious. Uh, some mentioned to me uh, as John Norton. Is that true? Some fans say, who's John, John Norton? Norton? I don't know that John Norton. I'm not going to kill the PR department until I know that that's true. All right. <laughs> but it wouldn't surprise <laughs> me. Well, when we get Let's back, get John Norton. Unless that's my title for most women. <laughs> <laughs>